Welcome back to The Beast Inside. At the end of last episode, we got a call from The Office, the people, the government, I guess, that we work for doing our cryptography efforts for the Cold War. I'm not exactly sure where The Office is, but I don't really care because I just want to explore the house and see what's changed in the past couple days. I think the last thing we saw was the creepy painting that we found and we were moving it to the basement and then skip forward a couple days. Obviously, as you can tell, the painting's done... Wait. Isn't this wallpaper? I don't actually understand how wallpaper works. I've never put it up. But we were painting the wall in this room before. If we were just going to put up wallpaper, then is that necessary? Maybe it's some sort of prep. Like a primer coat i i don't know anyway yeah things have changed in just a couple days my god it's amazing how much they've accomplished actually looks like a proper home now enough slacking i need to go back to the office no i don't pizza real quality ingredients brothers not real brothers, it says. <laughs> okay. Look at how detailed that cardboard is. You can see the corrugatedness. Okay, I love that. can pick up each of these individual things. I love that. Okay, let's not break it though. Delicate china. Home cooking 101. The best pies. Is that like a creme brulee kind of thing? What happened to this can? Looks nasty. This looks like an office. This is this ours or Emma's though? Thank God I can work remotely now, so I don't have to set my alarm for 6 a.m. Now, you've, we've seen this thing before. <laughs> Sorry. Why does this keep appearing? Please go away. Thank you. I think if I open every single drawer, every opportunity I get, I'll find an Easter egg at some point. This isn't how you store cutlery. Weirdos. Get a cutlery sorter divider thingy. What the hell? There's a cipher machine in the office. Can't put that off anymore. Yes, I can. President Carter's speech, entitled Crisis of Identity, was concluded with a reflection concerning the Soviets. Their most powerful weapon is not the atom bomb, but a unique capacity to drive other nations into madness and chaos. Carter believes that at this stage of the Cold War, our nation needs unity more than anything else, because our enemy's only chance is in making Americans doubt their government and all the values that this country has been built upon. In other news, the St. Louis Cardinals won yesterday's game at the Memorial Stadium. Thank God that's locked.
They really do love the wallpaper here, don't they? The wallpaper? That's a weird way to say that. They love wallpaper. I've seen at least three designs so far. Two up here, at least one downstairs. I think two downstairs? Yeah, sense of style is... Not exactly to my taste. But it ain't my house. Okay, maybe I'll stop opening everything. This thing looks special. Oh, these are still here. Dropped them from the attic a while ago. Surely my office is not up here. Is it? Huh, where does that go? This is my office? Somebody's office. Nine rules? So are we sleeping in separate bedrooms? Crazy fun time press. 57 page blowout. Crossword puzzlers. Only one ninety nine. I'm not opening everything. Just some things. Everything except one. Oh, this must be our place. No, it's a big bed. Okay, I don't think we're sleeping in separate bedrooms. I guess these are just guest rooms that we have fully prepared. I really don't think it's possible we could have done so much work in two days. Not even two people doing it full time, I think, could do this much. I mean, not only like unpack almost everything and set almost everything up but also like paint the walls and put wallpaper everywhere and who knows what else no way of bandages. Okay, so where's our office? Ah, uh, I think I found it, probably. I didn't think to check the area where we sort of came from in here. This door is open. Yep.
Ooh, fancy. Is this... It's supposed to be a fireplace, I guess, but... It seems extremely unsafe. And small. But this thing up here seems... Puzzly, passwordy. Let's get some fresh air in here. Jesus points at the gate of hell. I don't get it, but I don't think I want to. feet. So how do I do it again? First, let's take a look at the manual. Ooh, I was hoping that I'd be able to use the machine and it looks like I sure can. Hell yeah. Reset. Right, manual. Please follow the instructions below. The cover and place the cylinders. Easy. Before activating the device must be calibrated. To do that, follow these steps. Open the top cover by holding the handle on the right side. Place the cylinders marked with Roman numerals in the right slots. Uh the Roman numeral order from position one to position four is two. Four, five, eight. Two, four, five, eight. Two, four, five, eight. Where are the cylinders? Is that these? Uh, let's open the thing. Ah, yes. I need to take the right cylinders from the table. Luckily, they're numbered. Two, four, five, eight. I need to remember that each cylinder goes into a specific position. Four? I think that's four. Five, eight, five, six, seven, eight. Hope I got it right. Okay, the first part's done. Now it's time to set the cogs. Close the cover. Set the numbers in the windows to the following positions from left to right. 2, 14, 6, 22. This is called the start position. 2, 14, 6, 22. 2, 14, 6, 22. Piece of cake. Now for the last step, the wires at the bottom. This is so cool. I love this. Open the bottom drawer of the device. Plug the wires in the drawer in the following configuration. A to F, G to Z, R, T. A, F, G, Z, R, T. A, F, G, Z, R, T. Right, now I just have to plug that in using the right order. A. F, F. This is so cool. I love this. Uh, oh, we can actually read the instructions from here without having to go back. Although it's easy enough to go back. Um, GZ RT. GZ RT. G. Z. R. T. That's it. Now I just need to enter the password. 
close the bottom drawer, run a test using the test password. Doesn't really spell anything. Bip flip. <laughs> BP flip. After entering these letters, you should see a decoded message reading Friday. If after completing the above steps, the message was decoded incorrectly, you will need to recalibrate the device starting with step one. BP flip. BP flip. I have to be careful. If I click the wrong letters, I'll have to reset the cogs. Why is the P down here? This isn't a key configuration that I'm used to. Um, BP flip. P. Okay, it works. I can get down to it. Why did that person use my code table to encrypt the message? How can I guess which combination was used? Wait, I'm sorry, that person? Which person? The one who left me? The weird device in the deer carcass? Did they leave a message? I, I might have just forgotten, sorry. It's been a little bit since I played. Row number, rotors, rotor offset, cables. This is so cool. I know I just keep saying that, but this is really cool. What's this? It looks like a message encrypted with an enigma. Maybe with the right combination, I'll be able to decipher it. Now, how do I set it up? Hmm. Yeah, how do I figure out which one they used? Is there like a mark on any of these? That would indicate which one, like they circled it and erased it or something. I don't see anything. Mm, I can't actually like leave the screen and, and leave the chair. So whatever it is I need to do is here. Well, let's pull this apart. This is A787. Does that mean anything? Is that just some random stamp? Oh, I can rotate this thing. Roman 53ST. This must be a clue for the encrypted message. What does it mean, though? And how can I use it to set Enigma up? Yeah, how do I interpret that? There's four cogs that you need to put in the thing, but this is only... I mean, it looks like it's just three distinct things. First one is V, Roman numeral for five. Zero, three. Just three. ST? Street? Ah, I think I found it. V, three, ST. Looking at um, the code table, I was looking for... Well, the first thing that's immediately obvious is that V is something that could be in the rotors list over here. O3 is something that could be here in this list, because these are all two digits. And ST could be something here in the cables. But obviously that's not telling you a complete uh, instructions on like all the different rotors and all the rotor offsets and all the cables. It's just one of each. But with that, you can find which one has all of those three things, which I think I just missed. Is it? Hold on. Let me get it back. <laughs> I think it was... Oh, yeah. It's this one. Number 17. There's a V here. There's a 03 here. And there's an ST over here. It's got to be that one. So, 1475. 1475. 
one, one, four, seven. The solution is right in front of me. I know it. A Roman five. Five. E S T. Shh. I, I got it. Think you've cracked way more complicated codes. The configuration must be in the table. For the rotor offset, five nineteen oh three ten five. 19, 03, 10, 03, 10, yes. And then for the wires, ST, GZ, XO. XO, XO. Okay, now we just gotta enter this. XG DTJ. I can probably see that from here, right? Yeah, we can. XG DTJ. Trust. Uh, there's no space on this thing, right? Nah. XL. Trust no one is, I think, what the first part's going to say. A Y H. Trust no one but yourself. Sounds ominous. Who wrote this anyway? Now what? Check combinations 29 and 30. Okay, here we go. Still nothing, fuck. This terrible crime shocked fuck. This looks like our house. The victim's throat was slashed. This is getting too fucked up, seriously. We've already read this. I think in the shack or something like that. Maybe it's when we're playing as Nicholas. I'm not sure. God, how long has this been here? Is this blood or just rust? Is this what I think it is? More notes from Nicholas. It hurts, so I must be alive. Damn it, I almost broke. It hurts, so I'm alive. Damn it, I almost broke my neck. He took me by surprise. I wasn't prepared at all for something like this. He didn't really look human up close. When he rushed at me, I felt all of his pain suddenly seep into me. I've never experienced anything like that. His gaze, like an abused animal's, that desperation in his eyes, I was so dumbstruck I couldn't move. I wanted to scream, but I felt as if someone had ripped my vocal cords out. Who the hell is he? What was he doing in my father's bedroom? responsible for my father's disappearance what if they're in the basement no I'd rather not think of whose blood that was check our father's bedroom yes yeah, so this is picking up exactly where we left off they approached me and we fell off the balcony how are we doing on kerosene oh we have plenty
You're not alone. Yeah. Figured that out already. You can't come in here! Hear me, you snot! You're not allowed here! Ah! What's wrong with me? They said it wouldn't happen again! They Whoa. promised, dear. God, what happened? Looks like a hurricane went through here. We're trapped in now. What the hell? I need to find another exit. Ah. Oh, I didn't want to go down just yet, though. There might have been stuff in that room that I wanted to see. Ah, oh well. Actually, no. Restart chapter. Okay. Let's check around, but first I want to check the diary. Just see again whether there's anything important in there. As soon as I went into my father's bedroom, it started all over again. It was like I fell into myself. I heard hostile screams coming from everywhere that made my skin crawl. It's strange that after all these years in that cursed place, despite their assertions and promises, despite all the suffering I had to endure to regain control over my own mind, now fate is putting me through this ordeal again. Again, really don't like how they treat mental illness. broken. God, it's so good looking. My father's watch. I heard that he got it as a gift. My father was always obsessed with punctuality and order. I've often wondered why he bothered to start a family when all it ever meant to him was mess and delays. I have no idea who ML is, but I clearly remember the day when I accidentally knocked the watch off the table. My father literally stopped dead in his tracks. I expected to get a hell of a beating, but he only gathered all the metal parts with shaking hands and walked to the bedroom, where he then spent, then spent the rest of the day trying to fix it. The watch stopped working for good, but my father never threw it away. He tried to fix it time and again, but to no avail. Letter from Maria. To Jacob Hyde. You old cheapskate. A man's life ain't worth nothing to you? I ain't asked you for no $500 or $1,000. I just wanted a small sum, but you don't want to give me no dime. After what happened to my husband who gave his life for your sake? I ain't leaving it like that. You got my word. Maria. What compensation for what? 